Hello and <clears throat> welcome to my channel. The other day I was sitting in a bus with a uh, Meshtastic node watching the different nodes pop up <clears throat> in the uh, peers list as we were going along in the bus for a few hours and I thought really I want more data than that. I want to um, look at the serial output from this device and see uh, a bit more about what's going on. <clears throat> and unfortunately I didn't have a laptop with me where you can just run PuTTY under Windows and plug the uh, USB cable into the Windows laptop or you can use Linux of course and look at the serial data and then I thought well the only devices I have with me are mobile phones I could plug it in there <clears throat> and then I remembered that if you want to plug a USB device into a mobile phone um, you can't just use any old cable what you have to use is an OTG cable OTG stands for on the go and it's for people who are on the go and want to plug in an external um, USB drive, thumb drive, memory store, hard drive, whatever. I've actually used these before and I plugged in an, an RTL SDR stick so that I could run software on the phone for looking at the SDR output. And to do that you need an OTG cable. So I've got one here and I've also installed this serial terminal program. That's actually yellow. <clears throat> it doesn't look very yellow on the screen here but it's a, a yellow colored icon in my uh, Android phone. Probably there's a similar app for Apple phones, for iPhones, let's hope, and various other iPads and tablets, but it's got some good reviews. So I just uh, thought, well, let's try it. So I've installed that serial USB terminal. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do is plug in and see what happens. The Meshtastic node. There we go. It's, uh, Try and push that against the wall, everything's moving here. There we are, it's plugged in. And um, do we want to open it with this board? Oh yes, it's a REC 4631 board in this node, <clears throat> which uh, is from on the WizBlock device, which I really like. Very low power consumption. So um, I'll say OK. Let's open it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that was Meshtastic that wanted to open it. That's not what I want. Um, so I'm going to have to exit that. And try again. Now what I want to do is to run the program I installed, Serial USB Terminal. There it is. And hit the connect button, see what happens. Oh, it's asking me do I want to allow Serial USB Terminal to access that board and the answer is yes. So um, maybe it's working now. You can see this little icon here shows that the two are connected. I didn't set any board rates. Oh, there's some data. I didn't set anything. But these um, Meshtastic nodes seem to be able to auto-negotiate board rate, I've noticed. So it doesn't really matter. So there we are. <clears throat> oh, cannot send yet. Busy receiver. Somebody I know needs to do this on their system. Find out why he's uh, not able to transmit too many messages. So as you can see, it just works straight away. It didn't have to set up anything. All I did was plug it in. But you have to make sure you've got the right cable. This is one from Ugreen available on Amazon. Not too expensive. It probably costs the same as a normal USB short extension lead, which I've also got, but I haven't tried if it would work with those, but I didn't want to bother because you need a OTG cable. Oh, we've got a, a hint, more like a warning, receive buffer, buffer truncated. Okay, the buffer size is too small, so it's full already, because a lot of data comes out of these devices. If we hit settings, then Probably you can change that. Um, serial. I've got it. I know they've moved that. Whoops. This is not easy with one hand. Why do I make videos one handed? <laughs> so um, maybe it's under terminal. You can find this, I'm sure. And show timestamps. I don't want because the Meshtastic node already sends out timestamps. Thank you very much. Oh, buffer size 10k. Let's increase that to 200k. It could be unlimited, but now it's 200k. Let's go back. So hopefully now that won't fill up so quickly. But you can see the data <clears throat> coming out on the serial over USB port from the node. And you can see all thing, kinds of things that are happening here, all manner of things you can monitor. You can also, I've noticed in the settings here, you can save to a file for later analysis. You can do all kinds of things. So it's just a quick introduction for how to see the serial debug data coming out of a Meshtastic node using a mobile phone seemed to be easier than I expected. <laughs> it works 
remarkably well. So good luck. Let us know what you're trying out next. And I'd be looking forward to reading your questions and comments and ideas for future videos. And remember, if you like to like and subscribe. Goodbye and see you in the next video.